Hello everyone and welcome to Trading Card Nation. Today we uh, went up to Walmart and found a found that they actually stocked some of the shelves and got quite a few uh, cards. Uh, we got some Bowman Platinum, some uh, Topps Baseball Update, and some Panini Contenders Baseball. So, got a few uh, videos coming up. I hope everybody tunes in to see them. But we're going to start off with the uh, 2020 Bowman Platinum because if you uh seen any of my previous videos with uh, 2020 Bowman Platinum, I did a uh, what they considered a mega box, which kind of ran a little uh, a little high. It was $44.98 a box. Uh, I grabbed a couple of them, did a uh, first view, first preview, first view of the uh, of the cards. They were some nice cards. They did uh, offer autos, so I think there's one auto per box, so, you know, we uh, looked at it. I told you I, if I, I'll try to get the uh, hanger boxes. The monster box is a little bit harder to find, and they are a lot more expensive. They're, uh, I believe, $79.98, but you'll be surprised what the, uh, the best value of these cards are. And uh, I kind of was after I did the crunching of the numbers and the looking up the data and everything. The uh, monster boxes, like I said, were seventy nine ninety eight. You get a hundred uh, hundred cards in a monster box, uh, guaranteed two autos per average. Uh, you're not really guaranteed if you get uh, Panini points. Uh, they'll kind of take one of them away, but. The uh, on average, there's two autos per box, uh, which gives you a, a price range of about seventy nine cents a a card. So that is pretty, you know, it's a little up there, a little high. But what's more, kind of shocking was the uh, mega box at forty four ninety eight in my area. Anyhow, I'm not considering the uh, taxes that I pay on it because everybody's taxes is different uh, throughout the uh, the country. So. But in Texas, you know, it's 8.25 in my area uh, percent, so that kind of bumps it up a little bit. But the mega boxes were 44.98 uh, with 23 cards, only 23 cards. We gave you a uh, price point of a dollar 95 per card, which is kind of you know kind of steep. Uh, you know that uh, you're not gonna make much of your money back on on that uh, because you know most of the 23 you're guaranteed one auto but most of the 23 cards are base and you're not going to get you know a dollar 95 or two dollars a card so but they do offer a, an auto the uh the autos i'll leave a link to the uh to the mega boxes that I open the autos were uh mainly common uh players uh, there were no real big uh superstars so, you know, I'll be hard pressed to, you know, if I were to sell them, I'd be hard pressed to get a dollar ninety five, two dollars a, a card out of them. But, but what's kind of in, you know, but what was kind of shocking is the hanger boxes, not just the uh, just the price point, but the quantity of cards. You're paying twenty one ninety five for hanger boxes, which is a little high. Generally, most hanger boxes generally run about fifteen or so dollars. Uh, but you get 24 cards, one more card than the Mega Box, which is kind of shocking. Which basically you're looking at 91 and a half cents or 92 cents a card. But uh, you can pull. It doesn't guarantee autos, but you can pull autos in them. I think it's one in every 16 boxes you can pull an auto. Uh, the relics are one in <laughs> every 398 boxes so the relics are a little bit harder to hit than the autos which is kind of shocking too so but as far as the value goes uh, the hanger boxes are better value and you get one more card than the mega boxes which is you know kind of a uh, backwards thinking you know uh, on all the other cards uh, that you've gotten from you know tops bone you know bowman panini generally the hanger boxes are a little less than what you get out of a mega box, and definitely a lot less than what you get out of a, uh, what they call a monster box. But you do get a hundred cards out of a monster box, but 
the better value if you really stop to look at it uh, as far as the price point the mega box is a little bit better but it ain't much better it's 20 cents less than a hanger box and definitely a uh, dollar less the hanger boxes than the mega so the better value to me would be uh, the hanger boxes you can find two ic4 parallels and two number parallels per box and like i said you can find autos uh, one in every 16 box you you uh, can find the autos and we'll get into that so let me go ahead and uh cut this plastic off of both boxes we'll, we'll go ahead uh the way that I have been doing it unfortunately I generally only do one box of video because of the uh, way that they're stocking and the availability of the, the boxes but uh, it looks like they may be getting into it stocking a little bit better at my local Walmart uh, I've got four of them around the area uh, six if you go down an hour away take it to an hour away but we'll go ahead and look at it and actually they put odds on this one they didn't put them on the uh on the mega box uh for some reason whatever reason it is but if you look right down here uh approximate odds per per pack uh let's see auto cards is one in uh, 16 and the relics is one in 398 so and then you're you're uh no purchase necessary information if you get into that and again uh, find two icy full parallels with two number parallels per box and there is 24 cards per box so so let's go ahead and uh, get into it and let's see what we can't find if this is your first time viewing the channel uh, Please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for all the upcoming videos. And if you definitely, if you like the uh, the video, please uh, give a thumbs up and leave a uh, comment below. Uh, if you like to see something different uh, that I haven't shown on on the channel this year, uh, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to try to find it for you and get it on, so you can take a look at it and see if you would like to uh, purchase that. So. Now the cards are, uh, they're, they're a real nice card. I like how they're, uh, how they're laid out. Uh, they're clean. Uh, the backs are definitely clean on the information uh, that they give. So, you know, the cards themselves are real nice. Just the, uh, kind of have a little bit of issue with the price point as high as they're going especially with a hanger box you're paying 21 dollars that's generally the price of a uh of a mega box so but anyways let's go ahead and get into it yokomoto start us off rookie card Sutler. it says ah there we go a lubob that's a sweet looking card definitely uh worth worth it there and right back him up is a uh is a gavin lux nice sweet card a nice little pack and being a ranger fan and i'll show you the back of it kibler kubler uh, pitcher uh, so I was, like i said it's nice and clean clean lines it's definitely a nice uh and this is a nice box and look at there you got a Kyle Lewis following them up so another nice rookie so Gardo single guard and one of the inserts Clayton Crushaw Definitely a nice card. And a hose. Let's see. Cody Hose. And you're numbered. Numbered out of. That's 
199 24 of 199 and that's a walker bueller he had a nice uh, world series i was kind of hoping they go to a uh, a seventh game to see him pitch again but unfortunately it wasn't worth it that is definitely a nice card if you're uh if you're investing in cards this be an individual to uh definitely uh collect in uh, my opinion anyhow and a Behringer, uh, numbered 37 of two, $2.99. Definitely nice. Josh Junk, Rangers, Golden. And nice prospect, Bishop. He, he's definitely going to be one to uh, watch. Garcia, Rodriguez, for Seattle, Jimenez, Roberto Jimenez, and Zach Thomas, Zach Thomas, Garcia. So that is one box down. Buster Posey, Snail, Bo Bichette, rookie card. So both boxes kind of a uh, land. The first one was a real nice one. Howie's and done and Wayne Torres. Nice insert. Big. And then you have your numbered cards coming up behind them, Duran, and that is, looks like, uh, 119 of 250, and then Verlander, and that is 13 of 99. Definitely a nice card. Blue book. And Duran. Jones. Proctor. And a Matt. Walter to finish that off well we definitely hit some nice uh, rookie cards I uh, got a Robert Lewis Bochette Lux and then the numbered cards nice one that's a green uh, to 99 a blue to 250 299 and a 199 Walker Bueller. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think of it, of the of the information I was able to give you on uh 2020 Bowman Platinum. Again, the hanger boxes might be the way to go. They're they're about the price of a most mega boxes, but uh, 2198, uh, 24 cards be about 92 cents uh, a card. Will you get that? Uh, probably not, but there is uh, you do have a chance of uh, hitting an auto. Uh, again, the auto is one in every 16 boxes, and the relics are even a little harder. It's one in every 398. So, again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please. Leave a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and 
ring that notification bell to get all the upcoming videos and as I said we picked up some uh, Panini contenders and some uh, tops uh, update series that will be uh, being posting soon until then I hope everybody stay safe and healthy and have a wonderful week and an upcoming weekend goodbye